Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this very extravagant, I might say, like you know it's a little tad out there. But I did it like replicating the milk for was it 411 account? Let me just check because <laughs> your girl can't remember. Oh I nearly close. I was close. I was close. Um I replicated the milk 1422 um image from their account, it's an Instagram account, I thought it looked a lot of fun to do, I had all the colours in my stash and I was like, oh, I think it'd be so much fun to do this, so I decided to repl replicate this image, and I thought, you know, I did a pretty good job, I even went all the way and I put in blue eye contacts, guys, so I was like, dedicated, committed to this look, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, if you do like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me, and if you would like to keep up to date with all my latest videos and anything like that, then feel free to subscribe. Whoa, the sun came out. Otherwise, guys, we're going to move on into the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye. So as you can see, guys, I've already done my one eye off camera. I just thought I'd get a kind of like an idea of like the image, kind of like how to recreate it. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, so I'll go on to the other eye. So, and I thought it would just be quicker as well. Just because, like, you know, my videos have been a little bit long lately. I was like, Megan, you need to cut them down. <laughs> Before I go on to do my eye, though, I'm going to just moisturize my skin with my Puda Healing Hydrating Face and Body Cream to prep my skin for um, the face makeup when we get to it. Just because my skin's feeling a little bit dry today. And I've had a bit of like flakiness around this area of my face, so I just like moisturizing it. It's gonna help get a bit of plumpness back to it again. Okay, first of all, for the eyes, I'm going to take my NYX jumbo pencil in milk and apply this to my eyelid. And then I'm just taking my finger and buffing out the edges and also kind of just pressing it into the lid. This is just creating like a nice blank canvas so the colours stand out more against it. Then I'm slightly dusting some of this matte white eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade White Lies through the crease area very lightly. I'm only setting the crease, I'm not going to set, I'm not going to set the lid, I'm leaving that untouched. Then taking this Poison Plum shade from Sugar Pearl on a petite crease brush I'm going to start packing this onto my outer corner. And because the cream, like the NYX jumper pencil we just applied down is still tacky, it's going to help the eyeshadow to stick better. Rather than being patchy, it's going to cling to that um, base better. I'm taking it through the crease as well. But keeping it quite focused in the socket so keeping it quite rounded and I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across then taking Wisteria from Makeup Geek I'm going to softly blend the outer edges of Poison Plum to soften it up and I'm holding the end of the brush so that I'm barely applying any pressure to the crease area so it's very very light touches and I'm bringing this in towards the inner part of the nose because I kind of want to um, sink that eye in a little bit just softly though so not into the inner corner kind of towards the nose area then taking wisteria on a Morphe chisel shader brush I'm going to pack it tightly against where we placed the poison plum on the outer V so I can kind of blend into the inner corner more smoothly and again back in with Poison Plum to blend the two together. And then because I feel like it was a bit more pinky between the two purples, I'm going to grab this custard shade from my Juvia's Place Deuce palette. And I'm just kind of placing it down against those two shades. Or just that subtle bit of like pink. And then going back in with the purple. And the light purple. Next I'm taking Pegasus and I'm going to place this down firstly with my finger. And I'm just going to sharpen up that line. Kind of creating like a halo effect. 
I'll take poison plum back through the crease to kind of get rid of any excess. And just kind of burning up that blue. I feel like a bit of a pinky, purpley, bluey effect on the inner part of the lid like where the white meets the purple and also right in the center where Pegasus is. I'm going to place some of black light which is a gorgeous duochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It has like purpley bluey reflex and I'm placing this on kind of where the white is where the purple meets the white on the inner corner and also bringing it up along the crease towards Pegasus to kind of meet those two together. I'm applying it with a pencil brush so it's a little bit softer than a more compact brush. And then I'll go in with a soft liner brush to define that crease. And I spritz my brush to make Pegasus a bit more intense. Right up there. Because that little pop of blue is quite intense on her center. I'm just blending that down in a sort of upside down triangle. I'm just putting a bit of custard there to bring some of that pinky back. Next on like an accent brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to place um, Ice Queen on my inner corner right over top of that white base. And I'm using Ice Queen instead of White Lies because I want a bit of a sheen to the eyeshadow, a bit of shimmer. And I'm just going back in with a bit of black light to bring some of it back and kind of tie the white in with that shimmer. Because black light even has like a bit of like a white base to it too. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this look. Girl. Mmm. Give it to me. Before mascara and lashes, I'm going to place my Makeup Geek Obsidian Black Coal Liner to my tight line. Not my waterline, just my tight line to deepen up the lash line and make it the la false lashes tie in with the natural lash line. And for mascara today, I'm taking the Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. And in the picture, she has quite wispy, elongated lashes, so I've decided to go in with my... Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight Collection. And while that glue's drying, I just like to curl my lashes a little bit so that they fold into my neat false lashes. And you don't see them like sitting right underneath, like kind of sitting below with my false lashes. I want them to mesh in. You yeah, know, dumb. I just like to go on a downward angle and looking down into a mirror. I stick the center of the lash down, then I always go to the outer corner and stick that down and I kind of press it under the skin so that like a little bit of the skin covers the lash band so that you can't really see it sitting there. And then I just go and do the same thing with the inner corner. And then I go through and I kind of pinch my natural lashes and the false lashes together and then once I've done that I just kind of close my eyes and hold the lashes up so that they sit upwards because I don't want them sitting forward because they look less voluminous and you can't see them as well and voila your lashes are on now <laughs> do you guys like my hair today I did like a little um what do you call it? Like a little braid headband. I'm actually kind of digging it a little bit. I didn't bobby pin it that well, but that's okay. But I really like how it looks, so let me know if you guys like it or not. So before I go on with the rest of the eyes, I think I might do... Sorry. I think I might do the base. So I've already done the moisturizer to plump it up and give it a bit of moisture back because it was super dehydrated. And I'm feeling a bit dehydrated, so I'll just go with some water. But I think I might... Prime, but I'm just thinking what primer to use. So she looks quite like glowy, so I think I might do quite. I'm gonna be definitely doing a full glam look today, but babe. Um, first of all, I'm probably gonna use this a few times in this routine. So I'm gonna start out by putting this on the high points of my face. This is just my Master Strobing Liquid 
from Maybelline in the shade 100 Light Iridescent. And this one has like a pinky undertone, so it's actually going to tie in really well with this look because there's a lot of purples and like the highlight is going to be kind of like a pinky purple. Scratch it. I'm just going to apply it everywhere, eh? I'm not even going to bother with the high points. I'm just going to boom chuck a lock at all of it over my face. And then just bring the excess on my neck. Glow cinch right up in here. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade Medium Beige and applying this playing all over my face and a bit down my neck as well. And I'm using my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush first to just kind of whack it on. <laughs> whack it on. But then I might go in with my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge to just further blend it out and also get like around my brows. I've just been loving using the beauty sponge around my brows because it literally just gets all the little nooks and crannies like the eco tools one is just so flipping good and it's better for the environment fucking swella <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my instant age rewind concealer in the shade medium moon and apply this under my eyes and a bit of highlighting i guess here and there probably under the contours of the cheeks uh, forehead nose chin all that good stuff And don't forget your contour. I forgot last time, so this time I'm making it a thing to actually blend it in. Oh, I can't believe I forgot last time. It was so funny. And because this chick is really chiseled, I'm going to be going with my AC contour, um, like cream contour palette. And I'm going to apply this like kind of cool tone brown shade. It's the deepest brown from the palette, and really just chisel out my face with that. So. Contour my cheekbones, um, forehead, jawline, and a bit on the nose as well. And I'm just taking my Eco Tool sponge and just kind of blending out the cream. Then taking my very well loved Eclipse Blur Powder, I'm going to start baking under the eyes but not letting it just sit there. I'm actually going to press it into the skin with my Chi Chi Beauty Sponge. And I love this powder because it's going to blur out the pores and everything like that as well, along with this technique that we use. So we're going to look really airbrushed and flawless, like the photo or the picture. I'm also just going to further carve out that contour and push it into the skin to kind of set that concealer. And then basically just setting anywhere that I get oily. But I kind of still want to keep that glow peeking through, so I try and avoid like like too much powder going on. I just do a light dusting of it anywhere that I need it. And I'll just set that layer in place. Just set that layer of powder so it just melts in. Just melts, honey. So to contour today, I'm going to grab my usual powder from Makeup Geek in the shade Breakup. It's just a nice cool tone brown. It's got like a grey undertone so it's perfect for contouring. And I'm going to start chiseling out my cheekbones and also contouring the forehead jawline. Anywhere that we place that like cream contour I'm going to place this contour powder over top to set it and also accentuate it. With my nose I'm actually just going to bring it in a little bit than what I usually do. like contour here so we're following that eye shape that we created before and just bring it down my nose as well because she's quite um chiseled out so I'm trying to kind of re like replicate that and slim out my nose a little bit as well and then just blend it out and we're nice and contoured. So let's continue on with the rest of the eyes. So first of all, we're going to apply a blue eye colt to my waterline. This one is um, the BYS Ocean Green Blue Eye Colt. I'm going to apply this through the waterline, and then on top, I'm going to like put a royal blue eyeshadow on top, like she has in the picture. It's quite like a royal, vibrant blue. So I'm going to kind of try and redo that. 
So like I said before guys, I'm going to set that eye color in place with a beautiful royal blue eyeshadow. This one is Neptune from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to press that onto my lash line. Next I'm going to move on to the purples on the bottom lash line. So it looks like she's got a bit of like purple on her outer corner and just kind of tapers in towards the inner. So I'm going to do that. So taking Poison Plum, I'm going to wiggle this from outer corner to inner corner, making sure to focus most of it on the outer corner. And I'm also going to take some of Neptune, that royal blue shadow, on the outer corner of my lash line. I'm just buffing it out with some of that purple again. And then with the Whimsical, I'm just going to kind of soften the edges of the purple. Just kind of smoke it out a bit. And then I might even take some of Custard and apply that kind of from the center towards the inner corner. For my inner corners, I'm going to take Tarte from my Juvia's Place palette. Oh, such a flippin' gorgeous color. And I think it actually is perfect, like absolutely perfect for this. Um makeup look because it's like a pinky purpley white shade and that's exactly what's reflected in the photo so it's going to match perfectly so I'm just going to apply it first of all with my finger and then I'll go in with, in with a pencil brush and for my brow bone she doesn't seem to appear to have anything really on there but I want to put a bit of something there so I'm just going to take Ice Queen and apply that to my brow bone and just because I want to have a little bit of extra something I'm going to place a bit of black light um, in between where we place custard and tart on the bottom lash line like how pretty is that like that blue like that bottom lash line is just giving me life right now and I'm just quickly applying some bottom lash mascara. This is just the colossal one, the same one that I used on my top lashes. And the eyes are done. So we're going to move on to the cheeks. And I feel like she has more like of a mauvey purple kind of blush on. I'm just going to use Whimsical because I don't have that colour. So taking Whimsical, I'm just going to apply this to the contours like slash apples of my cheeks. And this chick has a beat highlight, guys. Like, this is literally so good. So I'm going to apply, like, I think a couple of things. And first of all, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to take that Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid again and apply this to the high points of my cheekbones and my nose and Cupid's bow as well to just kind of create a base, like a pinkish base and just an intense base for the highlight that we'll apply on next. So once I've got our base, like, highlight... I'm going to take Tarte that we used on our inner corners and I'm going to apply this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shade to all the high points of my face like the cheekbones, nose and cupid's bow, not forehead, I'm completely skipping forehead. For the lips today I'm going to take my NYX Liquid Suede or Suede Liquid Lipstick and I'm actually not quite sure what the shade is, sorry guys, it's just a deep purple one. I'll leave it linked down below anyway. And I'm just applying this to my lips. And I'm just taking black light on my finger and just applying this to the centre of my lips for a bit of a sheen, a bit of shimmer. And I'm applying this to the cupid's bow. I think I might even take Pegasus for an even like bluer Cupid's bow because she's got it quite blue. And I grabbed some of Sapphire from Morphe. It's a gorgeous like shimmery shadow. Nice deep blue. It's like an oceany blue and I applied that just below. And I'm also applying a bit of Sapphire just here because it's quite dark in this area on the photo, on the picture sorry. Then I'm just going to apply a few of those little white little accents on the lips. This is totally optional guys, I'm just going like all out here. But yeah, yeah, I think this is the finished look. And I forgot to do an outro guys, that was basically, basically my outro, I can't believe I forgot, sorry about this. 
But um, yeah, this is my finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this really out there, very colourful, fun, um, inspired makeup look. It's just a bit of fun, guys. You don't have to wear it out if you don't want to, but I totally dig it. Like, I actually love purples. I think they're so pretty. And if you have blue eyes, guys, this would be such a beautiful look on you. But otherwise, have an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial. I'll see you guys very soon in my next tu my next tutorial. So have an amazing day, and I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye!